Empire Lord 1024 here, and welcome to a top video. So today I'm going to be discussing uh, some of my favorite power-ups against Super Mario 3D World. All right, let's get to it. So number ten is basically the Koopa shell. Basically, uh, if you were to pick it up, then you basically can go inside of the shell and whatnot. Although Mario or whoever you're being does get a bit dizzy. All right, let's move on to number nine. All right, so number nine is obviously the mushroom. Um, yeah, because it only makes Mario more powerful. Uh, sorry if it's hard to see. It's actually how the in-game uh, level is right now. Hands-on hall or whatever it's called. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on to the next number, shall we? Next, number eight is the Goomba head. Is that, is that what it's even called? But yeah, if you crouch, it actually makes it sound like you're a Goomba. So you get it here first in Super Mario 3D World at the uh, hands-on hall on World 63. And what it does is basically it allows you to sneak around and fool the Goombas to think that you're one of them. Man, trickery is so fun, isn't it? All right, let's move on to number seven, shall we? Okay, number seven, I almost said six, is the propeller box. So basically, it allows you to go extremely high and hover to go down. It's first, obviously, found here in the uh, World 6 Street hands-on hall. Uh, you need it to basically get to the top of the, um, you know, the roof of this place and the finish. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, also you got to collect those uh, key things, and there's obviously a star there, which I have gotten already. And it makes it nicer to collect. Obviously, there's four in case you mess up four times. I don't know why you would. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next number, shall we? So number six is the boomerang suit, or the boomerang flower. So obviously, once you obtain it, Mario dons on a Koopa shell, and he now has the ability to throw a uh, boomerang, as you can see. Which is nice for taking out enemies at long range. Obviously, I don't have any enemies to take out right now, but hey, I like it. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next uh, number, shall we? Okay, so number five is basically the fire flower obviously once you pick it up it obviously allows mario to uh transform and you know he gets you know the ability to shoot fire which is pretty cool obviously his uh overhauls and hat changes too so that's also a plus plus it's good uh i think it's faster than the boomerang suit because with it, you only get to throw one boomerang, and you gotta wait for it to, you know, come back, so. It's kind of a bummer. Anyways, let's move on to number four, shall we? So number four is the double cherry first seen in the level. Uh, World 2-5 double cherry pass, right at the start. And basically what it does is it basically adds another character that you want obviously i swapped toad and it also takes you know control of the uh power up so as you can see i'm throwing two boomerangs the more double cherries you get uh the more characters you have i believe you can have a total up to five characters that you're currently playing and controlling obviously if a clone uh falls off the edge or dies then it's pretty much gone and you have to grab another double cherry in order to regain that clone, obviously. So, let's move on to number three, shall we? Alright, so number three is obviously the star. Because, hey, you get to be invincible. Oh, also, nice flips. So, uh, 
I mean, who doesn't like this arm, all right? All right, let's move on to number two, shall we? Number two is the cat suit or the lucky bell. I could have put the super bell on this, but oh well, that's fine. So basically, when you get it, uh, you transform. Well, you don't really transform into a cat, <clears throat> unlike Meowzer. And basically you get a cat suit and you have the ability to uh, essentially climb uh, flight poles as you can see there is a cat Goomba sometimes you can get the bell from them you can do this obviously you can do that you can uh, jump and you can do that so uh, yeah Anyways, uh, let's move on to some honorable mentions before we go to number one. Sound good, everyone? All right. Catch you here in a bit. I'm going to go smell the flowers. So honorable mentions go out to the Mega Mushroom for making your character ridiculously huge and being able to destroy certain blocks. Also, uh, they look so so mad, I don't know why. So yeah, anyways, uh, I got some more honorable mentions to talk about. So another honorable mention goes out to these cannon uh, box things. So what you do is you basically, well, that spiny ruined it. So basically you get it and it has a little skull on the end. And what it does, it basically shoots out the color ball of, um, yeah. And basically it, it hurts the enemies and stuff. Now, of course, you can charge it, as you see, to make it go farther. And it damages enemies, destroys blocks, whatnot. So we got some more honorable mentions to uh, list. So... Yeah, be right back. So another honorable mention will go out to the piranha flower that you can pick up. And what it does is basically eats other things, including coins, well, sometimes. Uh, and even eats stars, as you'll see. So it's nice, it's handy. Uh, it even eats fuzzies. as it kind of misses. Anyways, uh, that's about it for... Uh, actually, no, there's one more honorable mention that I will list. The last honorable mention goes out to the... basically the snowshoe skate. Uh, as you can see, I'll just let the Goomba demonstrate. Uh, basically, once you knock the Goomba out, uh, you can hop into the uh, thing and skate around and it'll turn the color depending on whatever character you have. Alright, so let's move on to number one, shall we? Man, he sure does look like he's having a lot of fun. So number one is actually two. It is the Super Leaf and the Invincibility Leaf. I can uh, jump up. So basically... It allows you to be invincible, and, uh, yeah, you basically can run right through enemies and, uh, not take damage at all. Well, I appreciate you all watching this top 10 video. I know it was kind of odd, but, so make sure to subscribe by clicking, uh, the little circle in the middle, click on the right or left card to subscribe, and... All my social medias are listed below in the description of the video, as well as clicking in the upper right hand corner in that white circle to check out more videos. Anyways, that's about it, and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this top 10.